So this is the under 12s B teams schools final, and it's Northampton school for boys up against Shenfield High School. Delivery into the penalty area from Duggan, the goalkeeper palms it away, it's still there though, and it around the area and it's bundled in. Northampton get the breakthrough. Chris Orokoya, just the start that Northampton were looking for, and it's Orokoya, the man to provide the finish. Super play from the defender, you've already seen him close down previous before that, good defending, and as he come up for the corner, and he finished it like a striker. Superb finish on his left foot, great finish, little deflection in, nothing, nothing he could have done then. Again, we're good defending. Oh, Delhi again on the charge forwards. Manages to keep that one oh, in. Cuts well. it back and it's 1 1. Super time. Well, that's the moment that Sheffield were waiting for. Finished off superbly from close range, but much of the credit must go to Emmanuel Oyadeli in setting up the goal. It's one apiece. Yeah, we talk about that end product. He certainly did there. Super pace down the line. Got his cross in. Picked his man out. Excellent play. Pulled it back and a fantastic finish. Charlie Winter right into the top corner. Did the business with the finish. Super goal. Not to Harvey, but it was well defended. Now slip through forward to Duggan the player to the right as well Duggan no option to go alone and took the touch behind and what will the referee's decision be for that and the decision is full time well no time for a potential corner and we are heading to penalties it's a pressure penalty a pressure moment but it's tucked away Winter did his job and first blood to Shenfield in the shootout. Yeah, keeper's unlucky. Got a hand to it, but couldn't keep it out. He will take this left-footed into the roof of the net. Some pen, that. That is some pen. No keeper is saving that one. The perfect response for Northampton. From the penalty spot. New ball, also left footed, strokes it in. Straight down the middle, good pen. Can he make it 2 2? Yes, he can. Oh, good pen. Into the bottom corner, back level. Really good pen, that one. Can Hamilton get the job done? Hamilton, it's saved! A brilliant stop from the goalkeeper, Schofield. And what a big moment that could prove to be in the shootout. What a great save that was. Stands up, what I like about him. Really does. Schofield then with the stop. Can Northampton take advantage? Yes, they can. Sent the goalkeeper the wrong way. Good into penalty. the top corner That's brilliant good. spot kick yeah great quick penalty there sorry great pen the ball back in Northampton's court right footed this time but the same outcome Duggan strokes his penalty home well Shenfield they must score else it's curtains on their cup final and it's saved again! Schofield the hero! Northampton can celebrate! Cue the jubilation! Northampton score for boys, do the double here at the Hawthorns. Winners earlier today and winners in the national final for the B teams as well. The under 12 9v9 PlayStation Schools Cup final. 
Schofield, the hero in the shootout, Tony. He really is and deserves all the plaudits there. Two great saves. Very confident you can see him in that goal as well. The big old unit in that goal as well made it very difficult. And he deserved it. Two great saves and has won the game for Northampton. Super, super play. Well done. Who gets his hands then on that illustrious prize as he just poses for the photo there with Tony Daly, former Aston Villa star and England international winger. Northampton School for Boys can celebrate as Harry Brown lifts the trophy high into the sky. It's two wins from two for Northampton today. Having beaten Cardinal Heenan earlier on, they've got the job done in the B-team's final as well. Northampton School for Boys can once again celebrate. Commiserations to Shenfield. Congratulations again to Northampton. So I'm here with Coach Phil from Shenfield High School. What a final between these two sides. Yeah, it was incredible. I think there was a, a lot of great football played there uh, today. And I think the lads showed uh, great character to come back from 1-0 from down. Yeah, the key word there being character. I mean, that second half, pulling yourselves back into it, it really could have gone either way. Really cagey stuff in that second half and taking the penalty shootout to separate the two sides. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, sometimes uh, in football, you don't always get what you deserved. I, I, I thought we possibly edged it a little bit in that second half and then at the end of the day you're losing out on the lottery aren't you? and this thing I mean you cannot question there is no doubt at the commitment these young athletes gave you on the pitch today I mean the culture set by by this team and not just this team we've got we've got the A team playing tomorrow and the year seven culture is just phenomenal you know they train together they play together they both want each other to win um, we've got a great set of parents over there as well that have followed us from about the quarter final onwards so yeah the culture here is absolutely uh, top on yeah some brilliant fans in the crowd here at the Hawthorns one final message to those watching uh, just an uh, absolute thank you for, for supporting us and uh, pushing the lads on. Um, and let's hope that tomorrow we can, uh, we can come along again and watch the A-team win. Well, Coach Phil, we'll see you tomorrow. Commiserations one more time. Let's hear it for Shenfield High School. So I'm here with Coach Paul from Northampton at School for Boys. It was nearly goal early on, but then it took penalties to separate these two sides. I mean, what an afternoon. Uh, yeah, first of all, uh, many congratulations to Shenfield. It was a great game. Uh, could have gone either way. Uh, the man of the match at number four I thought was superb. We tried to get round him. There's no way we were ever going to get round. I thought he had an excellent game and he didn't deserve to be on the losing team, I thought. But uh, no, a very, very close game. And uh, oh, I don't want to sit through many of those penalty shootouts ever again. No. Well, I know there was a rumour about you potentially taking a penalty at some point, but I mean, you cannot question a commitment again from your side, both sides. I mean, in those last few moments during the normal time, it could have really gone either way. It could, and I like the attitude of both teams. I mean, neither team sat back and were going to settle for the 1-1. Both teams seem to be going for the victory, which is a coach, you kind of, oh, what are we doing here? Um, but it could have gone either way. There was chances. I thought it was a very even game. Um, we we had chances we could have taken. They they had some near misses. Um, to come down to penalties, it's always a lottery. I thought our penalties were excellent, and I had every confidence in the people following on from that that they would have had excellent penalties. And then, for once, our goalkeeper Jack actually listened and did what we told him, which was not commit, stay stay as long as he could and go and he's two excellent saves really yeah very proud of all the boys well you guys have certainly done the double this afternoon here at the Hawthorns we mentioned earlier about the community that's being built at Northampton School for Boys really is a pinnacle of sports what you guys are achieving not just in football but across the board it's quite incredible well I've got 17 boys here we've had 23 boys training in our B team and some of those boys actually deserved to be would be battling for the 14 um, a lot of them will be involved next year at under 13B. Um, I must mention Jamie Wilcock. We've been running the B team program now. This is our 10th season. Uh, we've reached two semi finals at under 12. This is the first final we've ever reached and, and we've managed to win the game. But I want to thank Jamie personally for letting me take on the B teams 10 years ago. The program has gradually built up and built up to the point where it is now. So many boys involved in it at the club. Um, 
Jamie did it. Josh Melling is following on with that in the programme. There's a lot of commitment to the football within the team at the school. And these are the results. Today is the results of those things that are happening. So it's, it makes it all worthwhile. Well, Coach, I know you've got a very excitable team behind you, a very bunch of excitable fans behind you as well. I'll let you go and celebrate one more time. Let's hear it for Northampton School for Boys.